Good evening. Today I will share my prediction for 2023 GCE N-Level Science Chemistry paper. Let us review what was tested last year. Collection of soluble gases using the gas range. Determining the state of substances at a specific temperature based on their boiling points which is under the topic of KPT, the test for hydrogen gas, the concept of elements, compound, and mixture, to choose the correct diagram to represent elements, compound, or mixtures, atomic structure and bonding, formula of hematite and limestone, acid bases and salts in particular, how to treat soil acidity, chemical properties of elements in the same group and periodic trends, like the increased reactivity down group 1, the decrease in melting point down group 1 elements, reactions of metals, rusting, recycling, and reactivity are all tested. Metals was heavily tested in last year's paper. The types of oxides as predicted Organic chemistry, including combustion equation, polyunsaturated compounds, and bromination. Lastly, sulfur dioxide, part under air. In the structured section, isotopes, atomic structure, balance equation, and mole calculation was tested. The charge of the ions and compare the properties of metal versus ionic compounds. Organic chemistry was in the compulsory section where students were tested on their knowledge in the fractional distillation of petroleum, what is homologous series, cracking, and atmospheric pollutant. Neutralization, color change of universal indicator, writing ionic equation, salt preparation, in particular the filtration to remove insoluble product, which is barium carbonate, MR calculation. Quite a number of questions relate to more calculation for the structured session. Dot and cross diagram of oxygen, air composition, where students need to know nitrogen has the highest composition of 79%. The reaction of copper with oxygen was tested where students need to know that only oxygen reacted with the copper and they need to calculate the volume of air remaining after the reaction is completed and more calculations again. Salt preparation in particular, crystallization to describe the steps in the crystallization process. Alloy, reactions of metals, blast furnace as predicted all came up. And distillation where students need to suggest the physical separation method to separate the vapor zinc from the mixture, halogen displacement reactions, and ionic equation. So ionic equation was tested two times. So the popular topics for last year's paper were collection of gases, separation techniques, EMC, atomic structure, chemical bonding and structure, mole calculation, very popular, Periodic table, popular. Metals, very popular. Organic chem, air, acid, and bases. This year, I will predict the following. So pay attention to kinetic particle theory, like uh, you may be asked to interpret temperature time graph. You may be asked to draw the kinetic model for solid, liquid, or gas. You may be asked to describe the structure, the arrangement and motion of particles in the different state, or draw a diagram to represent a mixture. All right. For separation technique, quite a while chromatography haven't come out. It may come out in this year's paper. Some questions on collection of gas, but not a lot. Basically, need to know how to collect soluble gas and insoluble gas. Separation technique, other than chromatography, do revise fractional distillation, distillation, simple distillation, 
um, crystallization again, evaporation or dryness, and a bit of filtration. You may be required to draw a labeled diagram showing one of the physical process, for example, filtration or crystallization or evaporation or dryness or chromatography. Dot and cross diagram this time around, if they ever ask, they may ask you to draw a covalent compound or an ionic compound. So do know the difference between them. Okay. Uh, you may be asked to describe and explain the physical properties like high melting point of ionic compounds, low melting and boiling point of simple molecular structure, electrical conductivity of ionic compound versus covalent substances. Uh, why do ionic compounds conduct only in molten and aqueous state but not in solid state? Please know the standard answer to this questions that could be tested. More calculation, I think, will be on smaller scale this year, likely to appear in MCQ. So do revise that for MCQ, but it may come out in structure, but could be a smaller scale this time around. Acid and bases, yes, as usual. This time around, I'm predicting salt preparation questions again, maybe on titration this time around. Titration, yes. Maybe precipitation, okay? Know the procedure, okay? Acids reaction, know them very well. One of them or two of them will come out. Test for gases, yes. Reaction of alkaline with ammonium salt, how to test for ammonia gas, okay. Periodic table trends, group one, study again. Group seven, study again. Noble gases and know the trend across the period down the group. So across the period, we can observe that the atomic radius decreases. Down the group, atomic radius increases. Down group 1, reactivity increases. Down group 1, melting boiling point decreases. For group 7, down group 7, reactivity decreases. Down group 7, melting and boiling point increases. And please know the reason for that. Because of higher MR, more electrons, stronger intermolecular forces of attraction, requiring more energy to overcome, contributing to a higher melting and boiling point of the element down group 7. Why are noble gas unreactive? Go and study. Okay, noble gases, go and study. Metals revised again. Uh, it may be of a smaller scale this year, but do revise all the concepts and make sure you know the reactions of metals very well. Uh, metals with water, steam, and acid. And a bit of blast furnace. Okay, this is the last year they test on recycling of metal. Last year, they are testing the blast burner. So study a bit again. Air sources, reactions, and effects of pollutants. Study this very hard. Air, I think it's very important. Organic chem. This time around, organic chem will come out in the 3 choose 2 session, which means it's a long question. Okay, study hard your introduction. Study very hard the reaction of alkane. Maybe substitution will come out. Study hard alkene's reaction. It could be hydrogenation or bromination. How to differentiate between alkane and alkene using aqueous bromine. So if alkane, aqueous bromine remain brown with alkene, brown aqueous bromine decolorizes. Okay, that's about it. All the best for you. Please remember to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.